Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Today we're doing a shop with me at Ulta and we're gonna focus on black owned and minority owned businesses that Ulta sells. So I'm really, really excited. I think this model's beautiful by the way and I need some SPF. So let's get into it. <laughs> Our first brand is gonna be Shea Moisture. This is one that I'm pretty familiar with but I haven't ever seen this hydration leave-in treatment. I thought this was really, really interesting. I have pretty dry hair, it's thin, it hangs limp, and I need a lot of hydration at the ends of it, so I am probably going to put this in my cart. I also have a $100 gift card to Ulta, and I think I want to spend that $100 on brands like this. 100% um, virgin coconut oil. It might be a little heavy for me, but I'm willing to give it a try, but let's check out the reviews before we do anything further. Uh, na, 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 na. It's pretty good. It looks like it's okay for like all different types of hair. Um, some says it's not enough moisture, but maybe it's enough for me. Let's see what else. This is a brand that I'm like relatively familiar with because they sell it here in Germany and they sell it like a Target and Walmart and things like that. So I've tried some shampoos and conditioners, but I'm really looking for something like leave in. Let's check this one out. Okay. Pink cap. I like the pink cap. Silicone free, that's good. The reviews aren't quite as strong on this one. It doesn't look like. Eh, okay, let's keep looking. Just in case there's something better. Uh, let's see what we've got here. The lip balms look interesting. Those must be new. I don't remember seeing those before. Look at that. Um, what else? I know the bar soaps are popular. I don't need a bar soap right now. I'm, you know, I'm moving. So something easy to travel with is going to be ideal for me. The shampoos, I don't mind, but they're not my favorite. The wipes at the bottom there, I've used those before. I think those are okay. They don't take off all my makeup. Ooh, argan oil. This, Josie Marin argan oil, I feel like it's so expensive compared to that. It might be a good one, but I don't need argan oil. It actually reacts to my skin tone. Like I break out from it. They have baby stuff? Okay, let's see. You know what, my husband needs some more shaving stuff and they've got like a couple things here. He doesn't have a beard, but I want to see what this is. I've never used or seen him use. I mean, I would use a beard balm. <laughs> that would be so weird if I recommended a beard balm. I wonder if you could use this for like shaving though. Um, but it looks like it's a moisturizer. Read some details here real fast. Yeah, okay. It really is like to soften the skin on your face. Um, it's not something I need, not something really Keith needs. Let's see. What else we got? Okay, let's go to Juvia's Place. So I've tried eyeshadows from Juvia's Place before. They are very, very pigmented. Oh my goodness, they're so pigmented. And I love some of the colors. Oh, this, is this new? The Berry Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, it's sold out. That's a bummer. Okay, let's see. I like these small six pans. That's cute. This one I bought for my best friend for her birthday, and I think she likes it. I don't know. She hasn't told me one or the other. <laughs> I hope she does. Um, oh, here's another one. You know I like nudes. Let's see what is going on here. Mm, it's kind of your basic nudes. I don't think I need that, but I like it. Let's check out this one, another six pan. The violets, ooh, that's pretty. I bet they look really good for my eye color. Mm, should I add it, should I not add it? I'm trying to stay away from my eyeshadows right now, so I'm gonna like little, you know. Oh, this is one I've wanted to try. I've heard wonderful things about the Warrior 2 eyeshadow palette. It's only $20 too. Like the prices here are so good at Juvia's Place. Like I think it's absolutely amazing the prices that they're able to do. By the way, Juvia's Place is started by Chi Chi Elburo, I think you pronounce it. I'm not exactly certain about that. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce that name. This is one I owned, the Nubian, that's it. But I decluttered it, so I don't need that again. What's that pink one? That one's pretty. I like the fact it has pinks and grays in it. That's like right up my alley right now. That's like the speed of which I'm going this summer. <laughs> I'm gonna add that. We'll see if that stays. Uh, I don't know. It's like nothing super unusual to my collection, but I like it. My phone is beeping off the hook while I'm shopping here. <laughs> oh, these highlighters are so pretty. I like this one. I like the fact it's square and a round box. I don't know why that matters to me, but I like it. $17, is that more expensive than their other highlights? I feel like their other highlights were cheaper than that. Like 12 or something? But I like that. It seems like a good color for me too. What is that? Yeah, see their loose highlighter is 14 right there. I don't know why that one's more expensive. Is there more product in it? I've heard good things about these loose ones. See, that's also 14. I don't know. I'm not really like jazzed. 
about highlighters right now. I actually have a declutter, a highlighter declutter coming up. Okay, let's check out Pattern by Tracy Ellis Ross. You guys know the famous daughter. <laughs> let's see, hair products. Ooh, scrunchies. The velvet scrunchies look cute. I have some of my scrunchies from the late 90s <laughs> still. Let's go to Beauty Bakery because I don't really need hair products. Um, that's pretty. Oh, I own those already. I just picked those up last one. I've heard good things about these lip products. But, oh, do you see that highlighter there? That highlighter palette? That is super pretty. $38. A bit much for what I'm looking for. But I like that. These lip products, I just love the packaging on how they have that swirl. It's like a unicorn horn or, I don't know, maybe they call it a whip or something. Uh, is that whip packaging? I know the, the like lip products are whips. Let's try these lipsticks. It's a mini for $10. It's a bit much. Is this the best color they've got? I like the packaging on these two, like the little cake pop things. They're out of a lot of shades. These must be really good. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just stick with the light brown one. You never know. It seems very neutral. We'll see how that works out. Let's jump to Uma Beauty. This is one that I'm super excited about. I love this banner, by the way. Look how happy she is. <laughs> like, look at them, they're all like, yes, nailed it. Except for that woman, she looks a little scared. <laughs> I love that banner. I just think it's so cool to have like so many people represented. I love that. Okay, Uma Beauty. Foundation, eh. let's see, purple lipstick, that's pretty. Eyeshadows. You know, there's something about this one that's like pulling me in. I don't know if it's that purple in the corner. I would never use that yellow, but I think if you break these out into quads, it will look super cute. I want to see what would happen. Yeah, look how good that quad looks. Like, even that yellow is popping. I would never use that pop. Like, oh, yeah, see, like all these quads are so interesting. I wonder how those shimmers are. That's going to make or break this palette is how good those shimmers are. That might be... Oh, that's a cute packaging. I like that. It's like glowy black magic carnival. <laughs> I like it. That's like cute packaging. Okay. Um, I also kind of look for like the verified buyer reviews. I absolutely loved it. Well, that's a good sign. I mean, these reviews look the best yet. They look pretty good. Um, I do try and look for verified buyers though. There are lots of verified buyers. Oh, wow. This is actually <laughs> pretty good. Look at that. They all gave them five stars in that first part. Okay, I'm gonna add that to the bag. $44 is a bit much, but you know, it's average for eyeshadow palettes now, especially on the high-end side of things. <laughs> Whoa, look at those eyelashes. They have pink tips, purple tips. Oh, that's interesting, okay. Not something I'm particularly looking for for my everyday use, but oh, and that's got the glitter band. Okay, uh, this seems like a, not a lot, but let's go to, is it called Tijin? Thank God it's natural. Tijin? Tijin? <laughs> Sorry, I know it's thank God it's natural, but they put the Tijin on the front. I like the look of this packaging. What do we have here? Ooh, rose water. I love rose water. That's like exactly where I am in life. Which one should I go to first? Okay, let's do this one. Leave-in conditioner. Love leave-in conditioners. They add that moisture that my hair needs. $15 is like a great thing. Let's see what it says on the front. Let's see if I can magnify it. I do like this packaging though. It almost looks like water, doesn't it? It looks like nothing on it. Details. Okay. Let's see. Reviews. Why aren't any of these verified? Is this like a newer brand, Ulta? Sometimes they're not verified if they don't have the, like if no one's purchased it yet, but the reviews look good. I wish some of these were verified. I'm gonna add it anyways, and I'll go back and see, because now it's my second leave-in conditioner. What is this? Is that shampoo? Yeah, okay, sulfate-free hydrating shampoo. I look for sulfate-free, that's good. Rose water, hibiscus. Mm, is hibiscus good for your hair? I'm not exactly certain. That's good enough for your hair. <laughs> Uh, five stars, that's good. One three star. None of these are verified though. This must be like a newer brand, Alta. But like, I'm surprised like none of them are verified. Makes me a little nervous. I'm gonna check this thing out. This is another leave-in conditioner, but it's got that uh, ribbon on it. 
green tea and argan oil. Argan oil isn't always the best thing for my hair. It just makes my, the skin break out around my hairline. I don't know why. I'm like the only person in the world I feel like that has an issue with argan oil. But the reviews look good. None of those are verified either. Let's go back to the brand. Da, 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 da. There's some like really interesting things here. I don't know. For some reason, this brand is like getting me kind of excited. Let's see this leave-in conditioner. Miracle Repair RX with black honey and coconut oil. Oh, that is definitely going to be too thick for my hair. That's like if you have super dry hair. but Or super, is I don't know if the density is going to be too much. Maybe that'd be good for it. Mixed Chicks. A multicultural revolution. I've never heard of this brand before. I like their philosophy, though. It's like hair for everyone. You know, we all have hair on our head. Mixed Chicks. See what it says. Oh, that's cute. It's designed for us, whether you're black, white, Asian, Latin, Mediterranean, or any of the glorious combinations of the above. I love that, glorious combinations. That's a super fun idea. I like that, mixed chicks. This might be something I'm interested in. I don't know if it's something I need like right now, but let's see what we got here. Oh, we've got some verified buyers. Woo, that's a good sign. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, and that one's not good. I also don't have curly hair. Looks like this is working for curly hair. Let's check out this one. This one is made from Haiti, from Haitian products. Castor oil isn't something I really need in my hair. Just a few products from them. I don't know, this brand doesn't particularly interest me. Oh, look at this packaging. Yes, okay, start happy, I love that. It's gluten-free and it's got, um, doesn't test on animals. Well, that's interesting, they have like a pack of all like their best-selling body washes. Matcha. I love matcha. I don't know what it is. I just like the idea of it. Uh, what do we got here? Lots of bottles. It looks very apothecary-ish. <laughs> I do like that look, though. Let's see. Oh, organic oil moisturizer. You guys know I like oil moisturizers. This one covers everything. Look at that dry, normal combination, mature, everything but oily, pretty much. That might be interesting for me to try. Let's see what else they have. And reviews, not stellar reviews actually. Like normally I look for things that are like mainly five stars and this one's like okay. It seems to be like four star average. Let's check out the face mist. I don't have a toner right now. I do need probably a new toner. $15 seems reasonable. Refresh. With cucumber, that's cool. Okay. Uh, let's see what's going on with the reviews here. Oh, these are much better reviews. Look at that. Okay, five star, five star, five star. They're all verified. Add that one in. Perfect. I love rose water. Okay, let's go back to the brand. What? It looks like they have some same things like labeled twice. Like, oh, they're different sizes. Okay. I, was like, I don't know why they have two of the same thing. That's crazy. Some of these, it's like an interesting price range. It's like 15 to 60. I do like that much. Should I try that? No, I don't need any more skincare masks. Okay, let's go to the next one. For all your hair care needs. Can we talk about this woman on the upper <laughs> banner here on the right? She looks fierce. I love her hair on that. All right, let's see what we've got here. We've got some oils. We've got, what is POW? POW leave-in. It's like a leave-in conditioner. Oh, this brand is called The Main Choice. Um, I love the idea of this brand, like the packaging wise. I think it's like very party-esque and I do like that. Look at that. Oh, look, do you see the glasses match the lipstick? <laughs> Venus Bark Extract. I don't know, what is that? <laughs> Why is it so complicated? Okay, the reviews look pretty good. Looks like a four star product, just not four or five. Very few verified buyers as well. I just got one there. I'm gonna add it just because I like the packaging. <laughs> Let's see what else this brand has. Maybe there's something else from this brand that looks interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Got a mask. I don't like hair masks. Let's see this conditioner. Okay, can I ask what is a three-in-one conditioner? Like, what does that mean? Let's see. Soft as can be. Co-wash, leave-in, detangler. I mean. Mm, don't really need any of those things. I do like that it removes knots and tangles, but like my hair's not super tangly. It used to get more knotted. It's got okay reviews. Nothing like stellar. 
Uh, I'm gonna move on, I think. This isn't like really what I'm going for at the moment. I'm gonna watch Girls to Pop. Uh, there's, I just like the packaging, like the purple is really drawing me in. What is this? Uh, hair tonic and soy. What is a softening milk? I don't, deep hydration. I guess it's for if you have like thicker hair and you want it to like smooth out. Not exactly certain. I don't think that's what I need though if I've never heard of it. It's interesting, I'm learning about like a lot of different types of oils and things you can put in your hair by looking at these brands. Like what is <laughs> hydration therapy? Sea kelp and fever few? Uh, this is interesting. I don't think I need this either. This looks like too strong for me. Okay, let's check out Flora and Curl. Let's see what they've got. I like the whole little Hawaiian theme they've got going on here. I'm down with that. And this is made by Rose Avinci Hair Mist. I wonder if this makes your hair smell. Like, if it makes it smell like Flora, I'm kind of down. Hydration Hair Mist. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting. I don't think that's exactly what I'm looking for, though. Let's jump to another brand, shall we? Let's jump to Design Essentials Natural. This is by Cornell McBride Jr. Agave and lavender. I love lavender in my hair. I love the smell of it. I find it very relaxing. Moisturizing condition. How do you know what your hair type is, by the way? I see people on their reviews saying, like, I'm a 4B. How do you know? <laughs> where, where does it tell you what your hair type is? Cactus thing is cute. Oh, that's not within brand. I must not have pushed on the brand website. I must have just like typed it in and searched. And there are many different like words in this brand. Okay, let's check out the next one. Oh, this is gonna be perfect for my husband. This is Frederick Benjamin Grooming. And this was put together by Michael James. I like the top, it's like masculine. All right, let's look for some shaving products here. My husband gets a lot of ingrowns, so I'm kind of interested in this one. Just, you know, he shaves every day and we don't want to get too many bumps. That one, $18, it's okay price. But you buy one, get one half off. <laughs> I like the look of that bottle. That might be good for him, bump clear. That's like, seems like, I do like the look of that bottle. I like the, the frilly thing on top. All right. I'm going to watch this video, but I'm not going to have you guys do it, so we're going to do like a quick cut. There you go. <laughs> the reviews, one verified buyer, two verified buyers. Okay, it looks like the reviews are pretty good. It's five stars. Let's see. So when I watch the video, it says it's a three-step process. That's the other step. That's like the what you put on to shave off. Soap, don't need soap. Let's check it out. So it's supposed to be clear. It's to help you like see where you're shaving. And I don't know if that would help my husband or not, but I'm going to do it just to, like, keep on the <laughs> two out of the three-step program. This is something I don't know anything about. This is Grace L.A. Is, is that how you pronounce it? It's her name, the, the brand owner, and it's this cap. It's not something I need, but I'm glad to see it at Ulta because some people do need it. Let's talk about Naturalicious. <laughs> how great is that name, by the way? Like, how absolutely fantastic. Um, let's see, it's another hair care brand. Lots of hair care brands owned by black owners, minority owners, which is awesome. That's something I need though. Okay, let's go to my cart. I do have $100 to spend, so let's spend some time looking at this because, wow, I'm at $175. Okay, I've definitely overspent a little bit here. Okay, we've got the Shea Moisture. we got two Juvia's Paste palettes. Maybe we can get rid of one of those. Um, do I need, no, yeah, okay, I already have another leave-in, so let's get rid of the Shea Moisture one. I do want that, those, uh, yeah, that one I want, okay, we'll get rid of that one, because I just really like the packaging on that one, so we'll get rid of that, but that leaves the shaving things for my husband, I get the toner mist, I really, just rose water is just drawing me in. The Uma Beauty eyeshadow palette. I've got three eyeshadow palettes. We gotta decide what to do here. And also I have a lipstick. Do I need a lipstick? Okay, let's get rid of this one because that's like a boring everyday palette. So, and it has less choices than the other Juvia's Place one. But 
do I need all of this? I'm still above what I want to spend. Hmm. Let me know down below what you guys think, what I should purchase and what I shouldn't based on this cart. Thank you so much for shopping with me. I really do need your help to <laughs> bear down my shopping cart. I haven't placed the order yet because I need your feedback to see like what I should purchase, what I shouldn't purchase. I would love your feedback. I really think at times like this where the world is coming to a reckoning that we need to support people of color and their businesses. I realize that shopping by and through Ulta, um, the businesses aren't getting the best percentage as opposed to shopping at their website, but it's how I'm able to see a lot of different brands. And I thought this was a really fun video to make. There's so many brands out there I didn't know existed um, because I don't normally shop for hair products at Ulta. I like basically have my go-to brand of Redken and like that's what I do. But I'm really excited. Like I think I found some great products. I think there's a lot of fun brands out there that need to be explored, especially from people of color, all sorts of minorities, Asian, Hispanic, black, you pick it, it's there. Like there's all these opportunities and there's so many amazing, amazing entrepreneurs around the world that we need to just like learn about and just step out of our box a little bit. So I hope you found this helpful. I really do appreciate your feedback. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.